Friends, 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 friends. Hey, bad friends. We are on tour. Tour, baby. Where are we going? We're going to Milwaukee. We're Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, baby. With beer the and cheese. cheese. With the beer and, and Jeffrey cheese. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, he's there. Will he be coming to the show? No, but there's those types of whites. So All I right. Then them. the next night we're in Chicago. Then we go to Minneapolis. John Wayne Gacy. Yes, yes. From Chicago. All your favorite serial killers. Minneapolis, are be there. Minnesota. Then what Minneapolis. What killers from there? And then uh, probably McCone. He'll be a Yeah, McCone's from there. And then Madison, Wisconsin is how we end the year. And then in the new year, we've got a big run. We go January twentieth. We Atlantic we're going to be Atlantic City. City, New Jersey. Boy, boy. Come on, gamble. Salt Atlantic Lake City. City, Utah, January twenty seventh. Boy, boy. Then Temecula. Do you know where Temecula is? Bob? Yeah, man, it's right by Poway where that's I grew up. Exactly. And right. that's where you're going to meet my Dan, the, my school sponsor. I'm going to meet Dan, your sponsor yeah, yeah, in Temecula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So come on out to Pachanga on February second. Then we do Reno, Reno Nevada, Sacramento, Sacramento, Long Beach, Long Beach. Then we do wood. Canada. We do Windsor, Ontario, and Niagara Falls back to back. Uh, in Canada, then we do Tucson, Tucson Arizona. And where do we finish on 420? Las Vegas, Nevada, Las Vegas. April 20th, 2024. Come see us live. Come see us. Get your tickets. Go to badfriendspod.com. Badfriendspod.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Hello. Hello, and what Welcome do we have to, here? We have, you know, dude, can I just say something about that? Let me ask a you. A million about. subscribers. Yay, right? This is incredible. Thank you so Thank much, you. YouTube, for occasionally banning us and demonetizing Did, us. Is that really from YouTube? Yeah. We got a million no, subs. No, we got an award from the YouTube? Yeah, we passed a million subs. That's amazing. I didn't know we could you get awards for that. Let's That's go back episode. to this now. Let's go back to that. Okay, so number one, um, what do you uh, when you get water, we, right? We talked the most this. annoying thing when you have water. What's the most annoying thing when I get water? Yeah, when you drink water. When I drink water? Yeah. That you have to keep drinking it otherwise you die? Nope. No. What is it? Nanos. This is nano pure. You're telling me there's no nanos? In that? <laughs> there's no nanos. This in sounds it. like we're doing a plug for this R stuff. No, 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 no. So and we talked I, about this on the other episode. Can I just say another thing? Please. Right? When every time I've I've drinking water, mm. I went. There's something wrong with this. You know what? It's structured differently ah. than it should be. Ah, restructured. You're telling me this is fully restructured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's another thing, dude, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you love about water? What it, what it ha what it has? It keeps me alive. No, no, no. There's elements in it. I'll tell you what. Oh, when hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen. When it's oxygen in it, right? But it already has oxygen in it. But this company, what? No. Not enough oxygen. Hyper. They need more oxygen. They hypered it out, dude. Okay. Well, let's take a, let's take a second. Well, step here's. I'm, but I'm going to say this. Uh huh. You're already closed minded. No one. How am yeah, I? Yo, you're closed minded and, juice, you're, and, juice, and you're making juice. fun of it already. Juice. Am I closed minded? Um, if I said no, would you be open to that possibility? Yes. Then <laughs> I think you're pretty open minded. Right on. Okay, good. So, would you like some um, Afora, please? I, I would like, I'm going to drink my own water. You drink yours. And I, you know what? My good old fashioned Elvis. Elvis loved Mountain Valley. That's why I like it. And I'll drink my Ophora. I'll because yours it. has full of nanos. You're telling me this has tons of nanos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nanobots in your body, dude. Okay. Wow, it's a real classic. And you're being restructured now. <laughs> Let me taste. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let me taste. Delicious. How is it? I'm restructured. Whoa. Do you feel better? Did you see how? Wasn't did you just see that? I didn't do that. I didn't do that, dude. Holy the shit. water just did. Jesse, do you want to try? Oh, no. I think this is what I deserve. Yeah. I'll just stick with the plastic. That's true. Yeah, you know what? I'll stick with my water, okay? So you think this is better. You really do think this is better. Well, look at how much is yours. The Mountain Valley. <laughs> A couple bucks. <laughs> yeah. A couple bucks. $30, dude. That's a $30 bottle of yeah, water. Yeah, so. It's disgusting. Know. It's not. But how does it taste? Does it taste better? So, dude, I, I hate water usually. Really? Yeah, I want to keep drinking this, dude. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's the okay. best. If only they could flavor it like Diet Coke. Then it'd be really good water. You know, can I say something? What? And I, I don't want to offend Christians, but here I'm going to. Go ahead. All right? Yeah. Jesus, come. <laughs> That's how good it is. If, That's how good that dude, is. Dude, dude. If Jesus had come, dude, that's what it would be. Bingo! You know how Jesus? I, I would spend a hundred dollars on. You know that, how by Jesus the way. walked on water? You know how Jesus walked on water? Yes. Do you think this is the water he walked on? Yes. <laughs> this is it. Oh yeah. This is Jesus water. And that other dude that split it apart? Moses. That's that water. No. Mountain. Part of the sea. Well, I'd like you to see a video real fast. Uh, let's show the boys, uh, show everyone a little video here for in studio while you sip away. Okay. Did, did you notice any difference between that water? No. It's, 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 I mean, it's. 
Go to ladder. Oh my god. <laughs> it did I did taste weird, man. Oh my god. Did I, did I just drink did I just drink tap water, dude? You did, did that I, to the king? Wait, did I just drink tap water, dude? Where's my stuff? Where's my I, I swore to God I was. You know like, where it is? Yeah, where is it's it? It's in my mouth. Is it really? water? It's right here. Is it in there? <laughs> How is that? Be honest. It tastes exactly like no, water that I've. No, it doesn't. It tastes the same as Mountain Valley. Give me my water. No way. Give me my. Look at that. Okay, can I say this? Can dude? you believe? Look at what the boys did. They that, poured you some. That is something. bathroom tap water, dude. Right, dude, 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 dude. Let me say something right <laughs> wow. now. Wow. Let me say something right now. If I get cancer because of this, it's your fucking fault. Look at him. Look at how meticulous he put the sticker back on. <laughs> no, don't do that. We live here. That's insane. That's insane, dude. Take this away, dude. That's so oh, funny. Some, you know what? You like tricks? <laughs> you like tricks? Oh. We're not going to play tricks. Okay. All right? And I'm going to trick you one day. <laughs> and it's going to be worse than that. I'll tell you that right Give now. Give me your cup. I'll pour some some of your delicious. No, it's okay. I don't even trust that anymore. What do you mean? This is the $30 one. Oh, here. Give they me put some. it in here. Give me some of that. Give like we said in, la in the last episode, this is like the, God, so funny. the Philippine licking uh, woman. Yeah. It's that's right. It's all in your mind. That's right. Mm. It's all in your mind. See, it's all in your mind. So good. It's all in your mind. So let me say something. That was a good one. That was and you trick really me. good. And I'll tell you, I tell you this, man. It's it, what a time to trick me because I had a terrible night last night. What happened? Are you trickable right now? I'm so trickable, dude. Why? Oh, wow. Well, last night. What was last night? What do you mean? What was last night? Last night was just a Halloween. It was Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was. Was it not? It was. It was. Yeah. Last night was. This is Halloween. Yes, this it's tricks. Is Halloween. A lot of tricks, dude. Did you hand out any candy? No, I turned off all the lights. Mm. The front porch. Oh, I like it. So I pretend no one's there. Like a recluse. Like a recluse, right? Nice. And I just look to see if there's any lights. You know, sometimes they have candles. You know, the kids, you know what I mean? The they kids. Have, like, safety lights. Yeah. None around. So I go, you know what? I'm going to sleep early tonight. 440 pieces of candy I handed out yesterday. 440. That's great. Yeah. And Is I that dressed, a record? I dressed up like Ken. No, the first year I think I lived in the neighborhood was the most. I dressed up like Ken. We played music. We had a fog machine. Uh, we had a little dance party on the driveway. I had music bumping. And one of the dads came up to me at the end of the night and said, hey, thanks a lot for doing this. Really? And that's all that I wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, because I think it's important for the kid, man. I, I don't live in a neighborhood I'm not that does you, that. I'm not saying you. You live in the Hollywood Hills. You guys don't The hills, they don't candy. do it in the hills. The hills, they have they're, eyes. They have deep, they're deep, steep, steeps. Yeah, by the way, right. that's where kids go to get kidnapped up in the Hollywood right, Hills. Right. You're flatland. I'm in the flats, kiddo. With the Mexicans. Yes, that's exactly Oh, correct. shit, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> my point is this. I would love to hand out candy, but they're just never around. Well, they all, they, come, come to my they all come to my hood. So last hood. night I go, you know, it's Halloween. I'm going to sleep early, right? I go to bed, but I forget. Guess what I forget? To masturbate. No. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Carlos, <laughs> that is, that how did you call that? That, that is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah. He just knows? No, I told him earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. that I what forgot did you forget that. to do last night? Eat, eat, eat dinner. Oh, no. Oh. So you had I, to wake up in the middle of the night and eat something. No, not in the middle of the night. Four in the morning. That's the middle of the so night. So I go, I go to bed at 9. P.M. Yes. That's impossible. I try. You went to bed at 9 p.m. Yeah, I was that tired. No fucking way. Were you sick? No. So I you go, went you know to what? bed I'm going to go to bed at 9 like a Christian. <laughs> uh, hey, I mean, cro hey, cross yeah, off. Because I don't do the Hollywood thing. I'm more. I'm Christian on Halloween. Do you say a prayer before you go to sleep? I do, dear God. Let's hear your little prayer. Dear God, amen. He <laughs> fills in the middle. <laughs> yeah, let him do it. I let him uh, fill the middle, dude. Blank check. Right, it's a blank check. Well, you know, Jesus take the wheel. Jesus take over this prayer. Yeah. Finish it for me. Well, what well, Jesus, I should have filled it in because what he gave me was a stomach ache. Uh, <laughs> All right. But go so to there bed are four hungry. in the morning. I wake up. What, first, you know, Gooner. Yeah, Gooner, Gooner. You know who Gooner is? Your dog. No, I Your have cat. a cat. Named, the orange cat, Gooner. Yeah. At around four in the morning, if I don't put earplugs in, I hear... You know, what you're is so bad at sounds, it could be anything. No, he dude, could be I'm taking so, shit, dude, scratching. I'm the next fucking police academy warrior. I'm Michael Winslow, dude. Hmm. They hired me, dude. Let me hear you do a garbage truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good. Pretty good. Give me another one. Give me another one. Uh, let me hear you do something. Oh, this one. <laughs> What's that? You when you come. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How about How about this? <laughs> You drinking? Uh, 
toilet water? Ding, ding. You lifting up a lid and drinking toilet water? Bing, bing. Yes. Yes, dude. I get it. Good, Thank you. Good. So I'm good. You're very good. Anyway, I hear, right? It's Gooners trying to get in my room. Cat scratch fever. Yeah, yeah. Which I wake up and I go, oh, Gooners trying to get in. And also, I'm hungry. Why don't you just leave the door open for Gooners? I can't. Why? Because I have zoomies. Because they run around the room. Yeah, the cats at night, that's their time. Yeah. So they just zoom them all over the bed and stuff, right? What's the matter? Just like another case to not have cats. It's just like all the things. It's fine. They poop inside. They zoom me in the middle of the night. They scratch your door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. want to be pet. You can't yeah. take them on a walk. They're no fun to play with. Go yeah. ahead. Anyway, so um, I wake up and I go, oh, fuck, I'm hungry. I'm not going to be able to go back to bed. So I had one thing in the fridge. And guess what it was? Kimchi. I have that already. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a given. I yeah, feel yeah. like. What is it? Juice? Turk. I mean, is it tur? Turds. <laughs> turds. <laughs> you have packed turds again? There's two words. Tur and ch. Tur chips? Turkey chick turkey chicken. No. Turkey chicken. Almost. Uh, turkey sausage. Turkey ch turkey, turkey chips. Oh, potato chips made it. No, turkey. turkey ch cheese? Chili. Turkey chili. Oh, turkey chili. <laughs> Man, we were way off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turkey chili. Turkey chili. And I had one of those from Air One. Yeah. Well, another $50 bottle yeah, of chili. Yeah, $50. Of, but it's been there forever. <laughs> right. But How it's... long you think? It could be a year. Ooh. A whole year. It could be. I don't know. You had some bad chili. <laughs> Dude. I don't know. You're crazy. Man. I'm crazy. So I put it in a bowl. I microwave it, right? And then I eat it all. And I go, oh, I'm hungry still. And I remember the other night I got a big gigantic pint of Dryer's Rocky Road ice cream. Briars or dryers? B or D? Big difference. Briars? It do, you choose. I don't know. I think briars. I had myself some Jennies before I came here. Delicious. The best. Yeah. But I'm lactose. Anyway, I eat half of it. You think uh -oh. you're lactose intolerant or is it just because you eat stuff like a year old turkey chicken <laughs> <laughs> that, that you have a bad stomach? I don't know, dude. And then I go, oh, I feel fine. Mm -hmm. So I go, you know what? I'm not sleepy yet. So I play maybe two hours of... <laughs> Of, of this game, Starfield. Okay. Right, but I lock the, so I lock them up, but that's cool because when I play Starfield, I have my headphones, so I can't hear Gunnar scratching, right? And you're in the house alone. I'm so alone, dude. I'm that's so, a big house I'm, to be all alone. I'm so alone. And then it started. The shits. The, the aches. The shits. First ache. The shits are here. The shits are here. Not They're coming shit. out of your mouth shit. and your ear. The shits achy. are here. The shits <laughs> are here. It was achy. Out of your achy. nose. It live in fear. But I didn't go to the you're bathroom. The shit I didn't go to the bathroom. Well, I went to bed. Uh -huh. uh -oh. And that's when the trouble started. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're, good, you're good at sound, sound effects, too. Yeah, always have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Since you've met me. Yeah. You started drinking more toilet water? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bing. You know what that sounds like? A blue whale's breast in the in the water. Yeah, have you ever seen a blue whale? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> there we go. That's what it feels like. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Am I dead on? So, so anyway, a, a blue whale strip club. But I could, I, I was. <laughs> yeah. What? Let me get the bed out. <laughs> no, I was thinking that'd be a great strip club. The blue whale. Just any the whale. Blue whale. <laughs> stripping. Just a big, just a. Big... But how big? The blue whale's big, so the strip club's got to be. <laughs> you know <when> they moan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, do they like? You know what they like? They don't like money. Whales? No, they, they like, like fish. Like, no, yeah. I whenever I go to a, a whale strip club, yeah. you gotta bring plenty of plankton. 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 Okay. They right. you gotta dry it out though because it's hard to throw on stage when they're wet. But anyway, my point is, <laughs> <laughs> my point is, I, I did. I only slept for like an hour, and then I had to get up early to go to my A meeting, and then I, I did a podcast with Logic, and I was in traffic because he was all the way in Pacific Palisades, and then I canceled my spot, and I got here, and I'm so tired, and I asked you if. You have the energy to do this. Today. I got it today. Good. So I'm so glad that you have it. I got to tell you, one of the weirdest costumes I saw last night, and I didn't I didn't get a photo of it because I felt like it would be weird to take a picture of somebody's kid, oh. but we saw a lot of good ones. I saw a lot of good ones. At the door? That came to my house. Okay. Yeah. And the funniest one, by far, huh. and it was mostly Mexican families okay. that come to the hood. Yeah. It was a girl. I'm not. I'm not making this up. I swear to God. Here we go. Something she, racist. She was a washing machine. I swear to God of my life. I was. <laughs> Wait, I'm Mexican losing girl? my shit. Yes, I was dying. And on top of her, they built a box like a. They used a cardboard box to make a washing machine. Yeah. And on top of it was like woolite and bounce sheets. Wow. I, I Incredible. swear to God. I swear to God. Yeah. And the middle moved. It was oh. <laughs> one of the coolest costumes I think I've ever seen. 
But also, it's like... Would she just take it from work or something? Well, it's you write what you know, you live who you are. <laughs> Did she have a dryer with her? <clears throat> no, her sister oh. Her sister was... Um, her sister was uh, uh, a fence, and her dad kept leaping over no, her head you're kidding. back and forth and back That's and forth. That's insane. No, but really, the washing machine is not fake. That was actually a real costume, and it was like the best one of the night. So I gave her way more candy. And you know what I don't do? Yeah. If you come up with a shit costume, yeah. like especially when like a 14-year-old comes, you know, when the older ones come, yeah. you're getting one. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You get one. You didn't put any effort into it. Yeah. And you're too old. Yeah. When the kids come, little kids, yeah. they're getting handfuls. I literally go like this to the kids because they're so cute and sweet. But when a grown kid comes, they don't even say anything. Just put the bag out. Fucking, you know what I gave them? What? Whoppers. Whoa. The worst. The, you know, little whoppers. I know what a whopper is, The dude. worst candy. <laughs> That's a sh and I, 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 I thought it was a hamburger. Yeah, I gave them hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I handed them a oh, full oh, hamburger. Was, okay. But whoppers were for the teenagers that didn't yeah. dress up. <laughs> yeah. But the kids, you know what the kids got? What? They got the Reese's Snickers combo. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oof, dude, they make the peanut butter well, Snickers. Explain it to me. Reese's makes peanut butter Snickers combo now. Ooh. Okay, so let me can I let me ask a question then. Please, yeah. S don't even Google it. Don't Google it because I want to imagine it in my mind. Okay. So it's a round circle. It's an uh, egg, oval like an egg. What? Yeah, it's oval, oval, oval. Oh, it's an oval like an egg, shaped like an egg then. It's not thick like an egg, but it's almost like flat, a flat oval. A flat egg. Yeah. And so um, when I bite into it, instead of having a, a peanut buttery um, nugget. No, no, friend, you do get a peanut buttery nugget. <laughs> but you also but get caramel and caramel. nougat and cut. And, Holy and shit, dude. Uh-huh. So, so the good kids, yeah. the cool kids that yeah. dressed up, they're definitely getting one of those. Yeah. Plus a Kit Kat. And they're also getting, there's little tiny... Uh, Little tiny red vines. They got all the goods. But if you were a teenager and you didn't dress up, yeah. you get a whopper. Get out of here. It's so easy. You can, you know, I, like I sometimes on Halloween, I do a two for one mm. when I dress up. I could be one or the other. Right. Yeah. So sometimes I'm a ghost. Sometimes I'm a KKK member. I get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you and can so flip flop. I can flip flop or the two. A ghost and a KKK member could be just a sperm. You kind of look like a sperm as well. <laughs> That's true. That could be true. all the above. So you can be three things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we handed out a lot of candy. It was good to see. I just, I loved it. I really do love it when the. But the guy that said thank you really meant a lot to me because we work hard to make it enjoyable for the kids. Oh, my God. Because we've got a lot of Scrooge McDucks on the neighborhood. There's no way it's as good as I thought it was. But anyway. There's no way as what? <laughs> There's no way it's as good as what? I mean, you just claim to th think that you have the best Halloween house. There's just no Ours was one of the best for sure. With no there's doubt. no way. There's First of all, there's music. There's <laughs> uh, fog. Ridiculous. There's graveyards. That's what you say. There's bones all over the place. There's witches that are hanging around. Dude, I, I we go to the- Because uh, I was at your house weeks ago and there, wasn't, there was nothing there like that. Yeah, weeks ago we weren't prepared. Okay, okay. I don't want to challenge you. I just- You don't do anything. So who are you to talk? You turn the lights out. I'm just saying that you could just say you have all these things, but I just there's when I was there, there was no proof of it. You weren't Not there on the Halloween. Garage. You weren't there on Halloween. Like all getting ready to get that going. There's no s s fog machine. You weren't there. <laughs> this guy, there's a fog machine on the I night. Did, look what I did. You know what I mean? It's like nothing, as far as I'm concerned. You weren't there. And what did you do? Nothing. Yeah. But I admit it. I don't go, hey, you guys, I had a fucking haunted house. I had fucking a gargoyle and all that stuff. You if know you I mean? if you did, you would. You fuckhead. I put it together. So yeah, that's but what I did. But not the best in the neighborhood. I'm sorry. You're just angry because you don't have the fucking guts to do it, to go out on an emotional limb. I don't have kids that come to my fucking house. I live in the hills. <laughs> and that's exactly who you are. Yeah. You know, a fancy, Steve Carell lives next to me. Fancy rich guy. I look at Steve Carell's house. They don't have nothing like that. All he had in his house was old chili, turkey chili. He'd be scooping it into kids' <laughs> bags. That's, it's a blessing. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> You want old Air One turkey chili, dude? <laughs> I started the documentary about Mr. Chow. I don't know if you know his story. I maybe love one it. of the maybe one of the saddest stories I've ever heard in my He's life. He's still alive. What do you mean? His, I just saw him. His story is insanely sad. I'm telling. Oh, you. let me say, guess. Go ahead. He was Chinese. Correct. He's Chinese. Came here. Yeah. Oh, I have no money. Mm -hmm. I make wonton. Mm -hmm. And he became famous. Not even close. Okay, tell me. <laughs> his. I'm spoiler alert for the Mr. Chow <laughs> documentary on HBO, but. It's pretty incredible. This guy got shipped away to boarding school when he was a kid. His dad was like a famous a famous theater actor, stage actor. Pretty rare for the times. Um, Chow Young Fat? Chow Young Sun. Oh. Chow Young Skin. Knee. Whoa. Yeah, his, his brother, brother. Big fan of his movies. And then they and then his sister wanted to be an actor, and it was so it was just as rare for the time, especially for Chinese people, because you know the roles. You talk about it in your stand-up act. You know, racist Hollywood. Every role was like, oh, I do the wrong You know, like that was every role he ever got. 
yeah, and so when he moved to London um, and was started to get in film, was in popular films as he grew, he hadn't seen his mother for ever. Couldn't see his mom because his mom was back in China. And anybody at the time that went against the Chinese I government- I thought you were going to say because his eyes were so slanty. Well, that's true. And anybody back at the, uh, against the Chinese government was blacklisted and killed. So both who, of his parents- who, Really? His, his parents were murdered. Yeah. You know who else was murdered? Brandon Lee. Yeah, Bruce Lee's son. Yeah. Well, that was on accident. No. It was on accident. No idea. You think that had a tie to Rust and that whole thing? N no. You think that was a reprise of, of uh, Brandon Lee, Rust? Simon Chow, you know who he is? Mm -hmm. He was a producer of um, Bruce Lee movies back in the day, and there's a there's a conspiracy theory that he had his that he had Brandon Lee Brandon killed, 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 and the sister's been in hiding because maybe she's next. Anyway, let's move on. Chow's parents were murdered. Yeah, uh, amazing. Oh man, so, so sad. Then his then his wife, because of the shock of the murder of his parents, him and his wife start to disconnect. Yeah, and. She goes, steps out in the marriage. And when she comes back, she's dying of AIDS. <laughs> Insane. Don't be let that. That's 100% the truth. His wife died of fucking AIDS. Yeah. After she stepped out in the marriage because he was disappearing because he couldn't he couldn't deal with the loss of his parents. Yeah. So then he moved uh, and started to really do the restaurant here in LA. But because it started in- Wow. I want to watch the documentary. It's crazy. Dude, it's an insane Because story. I ran into him one time at the store. And I, I, I'm not lying. I, I knew who he was. He was in, he was in the Mitzi's bucket seat. I don't know how he got there, but in the bucket seat. Probably because he's Mr. Chow. Yeah, he Mr. Chow. I get it. He grabs me and he goes, let me talk to you. Mm. Takes me outside and he goes, come to my wedding. I go, when? Tomorrow. Wow. I go, tomorrow? I don't fucking know you. You gotta go to his wedding. I never went. Should have gone. And I have a photo on my Instagram if you don't want to believe me. That was that night. Of Mr. Chow. Yeah. Anyway, um, and the you best know who part Mr. Chow, have you been there? No, I've never been there, but I've seen that picture of you with him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite Chinese dish? It's I do top three: kung pao chicken, uh, orange chicken, and fr I I know it's like whatever, but fried rice. Yeah, it's great. Fried rice. I know you were gonna give me shit about that, but I love. What did fried you want her to fried say? Fried rice. Peking but duck. No, no Peking duck. What did you want her to say? There's a beef and broccoli, Mongolian beef. You know what I mean? There's um what? Aren't these all the white ones anyway? Isn't aren't these because of us? No. When you go to China, they have they eat that. No, this is all white we, people. My shit. favorite is. Cause it's got a little bit of your people in it. Guess what it is? Hmm. hmm. Oh, uh. Fuevos Rancheros. No. <laughs> <laughs> that set you up. That was, well, that was good. That was really what is good. it? Mushu pork? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, mushu pork. Never why, 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 why? Because it's kind of like a taco. A burrito. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you like it? Of course. And that's the only time I like plum sauce. Mm. Is in Mushu Park. I don't like it in any other area. Well, now that we're stuck on some Asian stuff, tell me about everything. I want to. I want to play you something, and I want you to close your eyes for a second. Oh, is it Asian music? I love it. It is Asian music. Okay, go ahead. I'll tell you what it is. And it's amazing. Morgan and Morgan. Eep. I'm in a car accident. What Are you do okay? I do? Are you My okay? Neck hurts. I don't know what to do. Well, call Morgan and Morgan. That's exactly, obviously, how you have to do that. Clearly. God, if you're ever injured, guys, you could check out Morgan and Morgan. <coughs> Man, you got hurt from that car. I know that it gave you a cough. 35% of all fatal accidents occur between 6 p.m. and midnight, and we're all driving around at night, coming home from work, going to get food, going to see our family and friends. And I got to tell you, when you get into an accident, it, it upends your life in a way that is such a bummer. Uh, who do you turn to? Uh, do they have insurance? Are you going to be okay? Is there so how much damage has been done? And Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide, more than 800 total lawyers. With over $15 billion, get this, recovered for over 300,000 clients, Morgan Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Yeah, that's the deal. When I got hit in my neighborhood, I wish I had Morgan & Morgan at the time years ago because too. we didn't know who to turn to and the person that hit us didn't have insurance and submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan, guys. Their fee is free unless they win. Come what a on, deal. that's so For good. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash 
bad friends or dial pound law pound 529 from your cell phone. That's four F O R the people.com slash bad friends or pound law pound 529 from your cell. There's a paid advertisement for Morgan and Morgan. Vroom. 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 You guys, Vroom. Um, I just got a family member a car from Vroom and they're, they're very excited about it. We all know, and listen up, guys, we all know how much a hassle buying a car can I hate be. buying cars. You can spend so much time driving around trying to find the perfect car, negotiating over the price, and worrying about the quality of the vehicle. But not anymore. Thanks to Vroom, guys. Vroom is the better way to buy and sell used cars. When you go to Vroom.com, you can shop thousands of cars right from your phone. They have all the popular makes and models, no haggle pricing, so you know you're getting a good deal. And the best of all, they'll deliver your ride directly to you. You don't got to go anywhere, man. Mm. They stand by their vehicles. Uh, and the best part is you have seven days or 250 miles, whichever comes first to make sure it's the car for you. And if you don't like it, you can return it right back to Vroom. This is amazing. They've helped out Bobby. He got someone he loves a car. And how simple was it to do it from the comfort of your own couch? It's so easy. So whether it's buying your next car, guys, selling or trading in your current one, Vroom has you covered. Start shopping today at Vroom.com. That's Vroom.com. <laughs> Okay. I know it is. My brother. Yeah. Who's it about? My mom. It's a good song. It's a great song. He goes, he's probably going to cry. It was great. I saw you almost cry a little bit. Yeah. And also, um, great song. That's off uh, Stevie Weeby's new album. He sent it to me today. Yeah. And pretty beautiful relationship I have with the Lee family that his, uh, he would send it to me and not you to promote on the show. <laughs> Can you show this to Bobby on Bad Friends? <laughs> he can't text you, but he'll text me. But his new album is available oh, now. Oh, it's really good. And it's on what? It's on uh, it's, it's, it's on Probably Spotify? No. What's it called? Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Yeah, Band it's Camp. on Bandcamp. Yeah, and the yeah. link will be in the description for, for all the fans. Please support, really support our Lee uh, family. It's actually some, there's some bangers on there. What's that track called again? It's for his mom. It's called uh, Oma. Jige. It's Kimchi Jige, which is a soup. So Mama Soup. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Song. That's I so that. awesome. I remember talking to him like almost a year ago and he wanted to make more music and get back into it. And so now to see his whole album's out, it's really cool. There's Stevie Weeby Lee. That's uh, Bobby's brother's new music, new album out. Go uh, check it out on Band Camp. Very good. Isn't that nice? Didn't you connect with your brother a little bit through music, huh? You don't talk. Do you talk to him about this stuff ever? Well, you know, him and I, um, you know, we're both musically inclined. My brother um, took a different direction musically. Mm. And, um, what do you mean? Like he's more of hip hop vibe? Yeah, more hip hop vibe because, yeah. it, you know, I didn't grow up with he for some reason in his class. Ha he hung out with a lot of black dudes. But my class, we didn't have any. Oh, well, they weren't accepted by you and your. No, family. we had one guy. I forget his name. But I think it was Steve Havey or something. Not Harvey. Not Steve Harvey. <laughs> Steve Harvey. Yeah. I gotta tell you, yeah, that yeah, guy's yeah. doing I know, well. I forgot his name. I forgot this guy's name. Show me power. But he he stole. <laughs> I remember he stole my He Man. Does it kind of never a, why gave does it back. Have to be a black guy stealing something story? Why you couldn't? No, have that, I know story? that's my thing. I that's mean, the I'm so only sorry. story you remember from him. Yeah, he stole my He Man's. Multiple? You had multiple He Men. Well, I had Skeletor, He Man, all the other characters. Oh, yeah. Well, you're probably a little rich, little brat. I would have stole from you too. And he, he wouldn't give him back. I'm like, come on, Steve Harvey. <laughs> I forgot his name. <laughs> you have a little mustache back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point is, and then my brother had you know a crew, and they listened to hip hop, and the only influence I had was my cousin Paul would tell me about the Velvet Underground and other bands, you know what I mean? And so that's my influence. But I wish I had more of a hip-hop vibe, but, you know, I don't. Oh, it's okay. And I apologize. Have you checked in on your mom since we've done the therapy sessions, by the way? We text every night, so I haven't called her physically, now. Is she still going? Yeah. Is she happy with it? Um, I haven't gotten the details, but she still likes it, she said. That's great. I don't want to dive into it because I don't want to get involved. It's not... The results aren't up, uh, uh, up to me. No, I understand. I'm you know just saying. So but it's good to know if she's happy going. If she goes and she likes it, God bless. God yeah. bless. But you know the results aren't up to me, and so uh, just like your just like your addiction, you have to let uh, it's not up to you, right? And my career, it's, just, it's not up to you. It isn't up to me. You just try your best and see what unfolds. And guess what, guys? Hmm. It's unfolded very good, my life. Very up well. At, yeah. at 52 years old. Um, to just see, you know, Monday night I, w I went to dinner with a bunch of Korean 
actors and stuff. Yeah. They were on fire. You, what, physically? Yeah, and I was like putting water on them. Like, That's a weird oh. dinner. I, what? Protesting. They were protesting. Oh, wow, yeah. What's well, yeah, just like in, in the Vietnam War, yeah, those exactly. monks. Yeah, they, we had dinner and they just lit themselves on fire. I'm like, cool dinner party. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> and there was no point of it. I'm like, what do you, what's the cause? I'm like, we don't know. We You're just, like, I'll get the check. Yeah, yeah. These guys are we're just lighting cold. themselves on fire. <laughs> I go, just get in the heat. But my point is, is that, um, so I was with some at dinner with um, a bunch of young Asians in the business. Yeah. And they're all like talking about their deals. You know, and all the great things that are happening in their lives. And, you know, and I, for once in my life, went, I hope you guys die. No, <laughs> no. For once in my life, I was like, God, I'm just so proud Do they have a, of this uh, group. They don't have that. They don't have no. a gold plaque from YouTube? No, they have um, Oscar. But my point is, no, they don't have Oscar. Nobody there has an Oscar. I know, I know they don't. Yeah. But, my, but they... Um, you know, they're doing their own thing, and I'm like, you know, I'm just kind of wa watch Because, you know, when I started, there was no opportunity. Mm. It was so fucking hard. Here we go. <laughs> but, you know, th with them, it's And like it was so easy for me. That was the difference, I think. It was a cakewalk for everybody else. I'm not doing that right now, Dad. <sighs> no, I'm, don't roll your fucking eyes. You know who used to do that? <sighs> Mr. Ferguson used to do that. <sighs> My fucking biology teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he would ask me a question in, in fucking high school, and I didn't know. I never knew that he would just roll his eyes. You you yeah. asked a question. And he no, would... he would always because um, I was always doing something stupid. Well, I don't know, but I, I, he'd be just like, <laughs> you know, Mr. Lee. You know what I mean? What is the you know right th that mineral sign, <laughs> whatever it is. The mineral sign yeah. or for a. I could see why he rolled his eyes. <laughs> 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 right, I'd be like, I don't know, man. The, you mean the metrics? <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> metrics. It's not math. I go, you know, but the square. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, it's not pie, the pie. The pie square. Yeah. And he's like, no. Anyway, he roll his eyes. <laughs> and I used to go like, you piece of shit, dude. When Look I at him now. Where is he? Is he dead? I don't know. Shout out I to Mr. Ferguson. Here, when I get out of here, I'm going to find you, dog. <laughs> I'm going to gouge those eyes out with a fucking skillet. Tough guy. Yeah. I like this guy. I don't know guy. what skillet. A skillet is not. Yeah, a skillet yeah. for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know how hard it would to cut someone's <laughs> eyes out with a... <laughs> Skillet. I know, but it'd be painful. A real, for both of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so don't roll your eyes at me. That's my thing. Don't do it. I'll roll my eyes at you. All oh, yeah. Long. Watch, watch. Halloween decoration. <laughs> 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 a couple of cobwebs. <laughs> How does it feel, man? <laughs> I think your insecurity bleeds yeah, through. Whopper. Yeah, it's sad. Whoppers. It's so sad. It's what you're doing, dude. In your little house. Anyway, I was so great. With your turkey chili. <laughs> the what? fat, sad Buddha on the stairs. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah? yeah dude. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch, dude. Fucking bitch ass. Love fuck. you, though, man. Love you, dog. It's so fun. So fun on the road, you know? So fun. It has been. Re we've had Real some good. really fun Real times good. on the road. Um, what was the last place we played? We played Denver. Great, great. And then we get we got Chicago, Milwaukee, and Madison, and Minneapolis. Yeah, done. So great, great, and we're done. We're going to the coldest places in the cold in the worst time. Yeah. Although you know you're gonna meet um, Dan, Dan Rather from CBS News. Yeah. Oh. How do you know him? He's we follow each other on Etsy. Dude, you're like Theo Vaughn today. Uh, no, I'm not. You're like taking things from <laughs> no, somewhere else no, that no. don't belong together. No we, no, we both create things on Etsy. We trade. Oh, you follow each other on Etsy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do yeah, you yeah. make on Etsy? Mittens. You're no. a mitten guy. Yeah. Bobby Mitten and Babu. So no fingers. <laughs> mittens. No. They're so stiff, though. Yeah. <laughs> right. You just can't to pick and stuff And so up. not warm. Yeah. And don't wear them around pandas. <laughs> but uh, What does he make, Dan, rather, on, on Etsy? Oh, he makes these... Um, so you know how he loves to talk on the mic? Yeah. He makes it out of, um, you know, um, linen. Good. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Linen swabs. He makes linen microphones? <laughs> yeah. And you know the, the, the tips of the Q-tip? Do I? <laughs> yeah. Cotton? That's not really cotton. Is it not? No. What's on the tip of a Q-tip? Q. Oh, it's just a bunch of Q. <laughs> yeah. What do you think the tip? Dude, the tip of it's Q. <laughs> so that's a bunch of Q woven up? Yeah, man. Oh, wow. You don't know the difference between Q and cotton, dude? What is it? Well, I don't know. And that's why it's like mysterious. It's like Q, like in Star Trek, Next Generation, there was a character named Q. Mm. And he was like sort of like this character that he was sort of like God. 
He came in and out, but no one could really describe what he was. That's a Q-tip. So that's what the Q-tip. So the Q-tip is named after the Q from. Q is a mystery. You know, first of all, <laughs> isn't that a mystery letter? Q? Yeah. yeah. Why? There's not a lot of words with Q in it. No, he's saying why is a mystery letter. I'm saying why is a mystery letter. That's a good, another mystery. There's two of them. How many words start with the letter Q? Question, quail. Qu Queen. Quag Quince. Quagmire. Quagmire. Queef. Queen. 975 words start with the letter Q. That's not good. Quadruple. Now, now Quaff, how many words start with B? L less. Wow. That can't be right. How many like words cool. start with B? What is, how does it say? It's pretty interesting. In the English, yeah. Yeah, 890. Less words start with B than Q. We learned something. That's different. no way, dude. Pretty impressive. What's, there probably isn't a lot of words that start with what I think that it starts with. Well, how many? Yeah, what do you think? What what letter has the most? Like, if, let me see if we can. I can't even think of 20 words that start with B. 20 words? What? Yeah, yeah. No, you know it. B? Yeah. Um, I'd have to think, though. Let's do it right now. Yeah. Ready? You go one, I go one, you go one. Go. Oh, and whoever stops? Yeah. Okay. Go. Buffoon. Bombastic. Burrito. Bouquet. Below. Beef. Bark. Bussy. B bussy. <laughs> yeah, a bussy. That's a new that's a new term that's in the dictionary now. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's a male pussy. Yeah. Really? You don't know about this? We can do urban stuff? Why couldn't we? <laughs> we have an urban audience, don't okay, we? Okay, go ahead. Uh, balls. Booyah. Black. <laughs> Bounce. Barracuda. <laughs> Barracuda's good. Isn't Barracuda one? Yeah, Barracuda's good. A fish, right? It is a fish. Yeah. Uh beacon. Bamboozle. Banshee. Uh, Bowdry. Bent. Black. I said black. You did? Bruise. Block. Bruise. Block then. Blot. <laughs> what? Are we going this way now? Here you go. go. Blah. What? Blah. Blah? Blah. B-L-A-H. Blood. Oh, bl blood? Blot? Blah? What are you saying? Forget it. Blah. <laughs> Forget it. Forget this game, man. We're going forever. We did it. We did it do it. We did it. We did more. That was it. at least 898. Now let's see if we can do Q, because Q technically has more. I can't do it. Let's do it. Go. I know three. Go. Queen. You already said it. Quail. Qu Quagmire. Question. Quince. Q-tip. Qualify. <laughs> I don't know. Qu I got no one. Queen Quandry. <laughs> I have yeah. no idea. Quantify. Quantify. Quality. Question. Oh. Quaint. Quaint. <laughs> Quick. Uh. Quack. Qu quell. Ooh. Quit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I'm out. Yeah. So we know a guy who met somebody on a set. Yeah. And way above. Yeah, I mean his pay grade. She's the most famous person I think we people. No, anyone knows. Yeah, she's. So and famous. you know, you know, this is when he was single. Yeah, it was long, long, long time, time ago. And she would live by the up, up on the hills. Well, she, multiple houses, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And he and, and late at night we would see him walk down the hill, uh -huh. right, with his face just, just, <laughs> just, uh, just a fucking pussified, puss, puss juice, pussified, famous celebrity puss juice. All over his face, and, his and he, face? Had, he, confused, he looked confused yeah. and gratified. Happy. Happy. I remember the night we took we took a walk and talk. We smoked a joint in my neighborhood, and he told me about the who it was. And I and I, it did make me think for a second, are all my friends going to date famous people? All right. Like, it made me go, oh, my God. Is, I, that, also, is that a normal thing? You can thing? do that? Yeah. That's what like I mean. You never think you can do that. I thought that But was... you can do it if they let you. You can. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they never let me. I think you could. Well, I never got like, you know, I had dinner with Kate Blanchett once. I never got the vibe. Kate Blanchett went to dinner with you? Yeah. On a date? Or no, on, on a movie. Yeah. When I did a movie. Oh, you were shooting a film? Yeah. And at night, she was like, well, let's go take the whole cast out to dinner. And I was I sat next to her at dinner. But you were there with like 20 other people. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, all these people were right. there. That's not the same thing. <laughs> and I was sitting there, and I, in my mind, I'm like, if she did... I would do it if she made a move. Yeah, yeah. If Kate Blanchett made a move, what would you? What's your move? Look at I'm Kate. I'm Kate. No, 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 no. Please bring me a photo of her so I can play her. Please, just so I can get in character. No, I, I don't. Though, I, I don't want to get in trouble here. And she's British, right? Yeah, yeah. She's the nicest person I ever met. Bobby. Yeah, that's Bobby. dead on. What are you? What will you be ordering? Me? Oh, well, you know, I'm sober, so I'll get a Diet Coke. 
Okay, Diet Coke for the little, little one. And I'll, well, what would you be having? I'll, with? I'll have a gin and tonic. Oh, that's nice. A good choice. If Do I you was mind drinking... if I drink in front of you? Oh, I don't mind at all. Do you mind if I have a drink where you're licking my toes later? I'm hitting Here? you, Robert. Here? Under the table you go. I would do it. You'd go right under the oh, table? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If she said right in front of all those people. You oh, yeah. Well, why would you? You can't say. It's, a, you know, improv. Always agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you did. Have you done movies with, before you were married, with famous people? When you were single ever? No, I still don't do movies with famous people. Kevin Hart's not famous? No, that but that's now. That was only a couple of years ago. No, I never got a big movie. I never got to do anything with. The only people that I got to work with. That Who's the like, biggest actor you've worked with? In my life? Yeah. Because you just did John Cena. Tom Arnold. That's not even fucking... I've done Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. I've done Tom Arnold. Uh, who's the biggest I ever worked with? Melissa Leo when I did... I mean, she's an, oh, Oscar, yeah, yeah. She's an Oscar Yeah, 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 yeah. Huge. And she would How not, about you? not How hook about up with me. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Whoa! Wait, what? Yeah, because I was um, in the wardrobe department on Transformers 5, and I delivered him his shoe inserts. Whoa. Whoa. Was he nice? How big are they? Really nice. How big are they? They were like, um, not like padding, but just like comfort. Yeah, size. but you were the 10th person to give him one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They were stacking them up. <laughs> I, didn't want, <laughs> I didn't want to say it because he was like kind of shy about that. Yeah, yeah. He was really nice. He came yeah. out of his like trailer. He, if Mark Wahlberg, you know what I mean, hit on you, would you? Yeah. yeah. Even now? Well, wait, why do you say even now? Like, no, he's older. I mean, I don't know. Older? He's one of those, like, ageless Hollywood. All right, so if Mark Wahlberg called he's you out of the blue. He's ageless. He's And he the goes, same hey, age. baby, let me take you out on a date. Will you go on a date with him? Yeah, I would love to go on a date with Mark Wahlberg. And if he tried to. Why, has he said something? <laughs> <laughs> you would make out and all that stuff with him? Maybe. I mean, I would, like, I mean, he's still a person. I'd want to. Get to I'd know him. Probably. But... What if he but said. But I'd still want to yeah. see what if, what if he was like, yo, I want to take you on a date, but, uh. Just let you know, like, I got to fuck on a first date and it's only anal. What would you say? Uh, oh, man. You don't do anal at first date? No. But it's Mark. Okay. It's me. It's me. It's Maki Mark. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I know. You got to let me do it, baby girl. You got to let me do it. Yeah. I got to fuck on a first date and I got to get the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it your ass or my ass? Both. I'll both. <laughs> I mean, I'll yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, your ass. I got a happening post. I'll, post, I'll sign it for you. You never heard of the, Ma the Wahlberg way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do happening. You want free there. hamburger for my family? <laughs> yeah, and free Wahlburgers. For the <laughs> and you get free Wahlburgers for life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. a good deal. <laughs> Bend so, me over and let's do this thing. It was me, no, I worked with him. That was me, him, and Kevin Hart. I wonder if there's a movie. star that w it hit on me, and I would just go, I just can't. Like a star, like a, a, a hot starlet, Margot Robbie. No, Margot Robbie. You would say no to Margot Robbie. Too hot. What do you mean too hot, dude? She's. I. It would be like. Did you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Pressure. I would be there. And I'd be like, I'd look down, because that's what you do. Like in a war, right? In a war, right? Back in the day when they had muskets, uh. and the war starting, right? And you have your musket, right? And you have to look down to see if all the stuff is in there. You don't really. Uh, yeah, but I would. <laughs> okay. Immediately dead? <laughs> no, 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 no. How did, how did Private I, Lee die? I didn't light it. Yeah. Shot himself in the fucking head. <laughs> Because he was looking down the barrel. No, no, no. I would just see if everything's in. Like, so I would look at my dick and go, uh, "Is everything there? Is my sack? If the sack there is the sack there?" I think if Margot Robbie was with you, you'd be just fine. <sighs> Saying you don't want to get with Margot Robbie. If she doesn't kiss, then no. If she doesn't kiss, you are <laughs> insane. You're crazy. No, I, I can't get. I, I, you know my thing. I know. I can't get hard. Period. No, I can, <laughs> unless I know that they like me. Blue Chew! No. Right? And so the way I know that a woman likes me if they make out. So if she. And I can feel you. during the makeout section that they like me. Right. Right? So then I go, okay, I'm in. But if I'm in a situation where I, they don't like me, I can't get aroused. How many girls have you slept with that don't like you? <laughs> Be careful. None. <laughs> so what do you mean? But I've been in situations where one time. Okay, I, I, one time I did this comedy club. I can't name the guy. But he, I guess I, you know, he got. He, I show up at this town. He goes, "I got you a woman." Got you a woman. And I go, "What do you mean?" <laughs> yeah, was this 1966? <laughs> yeah, and I go, "What do you mean?" He's like, "A woman of the night." I go, "Who told you that I need this?" Carlos. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I walked in the hotel room. There was a woman in my hotel room, Whoa. just sitting on the bed. Yeah, and she goes, "Hi, so and so," and I go, "Yeah, get out. I can't do it." Hmm. You didn't even ask her what they paid for. No, I just. Can you imagine if you got like a discount package? She's like, hi, I can Hi. jerk you off, but it's with my feet. 
<laughs> There's a girl in West Hollywood who does that. Just their of feet. course you know the oh, girl. You know she that. just feet because she doesn't want to touch. I just need somebody to like. I have to know that they like me before I do it. Let me tell you something. Saying no that you wouldn't want to go on a date with Margot Robbie because she's too hot is like saying I don't want to ride down a mountain on skis because it's over at some point. It's like who the fuck cares? Yes, it's a quick ride. Margot what, Robbie's what never. Gonna... Wanna, what if they don't want to go to the mount down to the mountain on skis? No, she's letting you ride down the mountain, but you're like it's going to be over at some yeah, point. But what if you don't like skiing? Then you don't like Margot Robbie. Bingo. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, would you? I'll take a date with Margot Robbie. Oh, you're right. I would go. What? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you. Right, I would go. Fuck you I would try. I, if I didn't try, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Right. So it's like you know, I would. I would. I would go in, and she goes, "No, no, just eat my pussy." I'd just be like, "Okay," and then make and then kicks you out, and then as the moment you're done, she goes, "Get out." There's an Uber outside. Get the fuck out. I'm making. I don't get to come. No, what? Gross. Yuck. Get out. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't ask her that. I would just be an internal dialogue. No, I know. But she heard you say it inside. She's that good. <laughs> oh, my favorite one. Yeah. Does that... So I go... And then she goes... Get out. Get out. Are you... What are you, insane? And I, by the way, the I, next, and then tomorrow, you're going to call her anyway. Right. Margo, I had a great time. Yeah, I know you did, loser. <laughs> when, can I, when can I do it again? Whenever the fuck I want, I'll call you later. Okay, when okay. When whenever. I'll be up 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> call me anytime. Viator! Guess what? Yep. You went to Bora Bora. Mm -hmm. What did I do? For my little birthday, Bobby got me a little excursion with ATVs. And man, what a nice little journey. A guided tour. From Viator, dude. From Viator. They have over 300,000 bookable travel experiences in over 190 countries. They offer everything from simple tours to extreme adventures. All the niche, interesting stuff in between. The Viator is the place to book memorable travel experiences when you're out and about. Yeah. Viator is a website. And app where you can book travel experiences. And they offer everything from simple tours to extreme adventures. Viator's travel experiences have millions of real traveler reviews. So you have the information you need to book the best activities for your trip. When you book a travel experience with Viator, there's always flexibility and support with free cancellation, payment options, and 24-7 service. So if you're going on a little trip, it yeah. doesn't matter how big, how small that you want to go to, doesn't matter where you're going, could be Nantucket. Uh, they have so many cool little experiences for you. you got to check it out. Download the, the Viator app now and use code Viator10 for 10% off your first booking in the app. One app, over 300,000 travel experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. Viator. Dr. Dr. Squatch. Squatch. I'd be loving that, Dr. Squatch. Not only, I've been using Dr. Squatch for years, and they have mm. the best smells. Mm. And it's also sometimes, I you smell know, good. when you get a soap like a, a, a national brand, yeah. you don't feel like it's doing anything to your body. It doesn't. It's kind of gliding across your skin. It, right. But Dr. Squatch, you actually feel like you're cleaning stuff. Yeah, it gets in there, baby. It right. really does. Right. So, um, so what we're offering today is the B3G3, all right? The Buy 3 Get three, baby. You buy three soaps and you get three soaps for free. $28 off total savings, $4 a bar, new customers only, and you get free shipping, which is pretty incredible. So these this is this has got to be a deal of a lifetime. I, I love the pine the tar soap. Ooh. Dude, I look like a squat a, a clean Sasquatch. You do look like a clean And cool Sasquatch. fresh aloe soap. Ooh, baby, what do you smell like there? I like Birchwood Breeze because I like to feel like I'm up in the Northern California tree. Oh, baby. dude. Birchwood Breeze in it. Right now, Dr. Squatch is offering our listeners a huge savings. All new customers will get three free bar soaps plus free shipping with any purchase of three bars. Mm -hmm. Just go to drsquatch.com slash badfriends to receive this buy three, get three offer. Well, that's uh, drsquatch.com Dr. 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 slash badfriends to buy three soaps and get three free. It's pretty incredible. It's time to get all the daily routine essentials you'll need to start feeling good and smelling like a man today. If a genie granted you one, one wish, what would it be? Okay, I, 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 I'm. I, I, where do you find the? Where do you find the bottle? Where do we find the genie bottle? Yeah, yeah. Air you find lamp? it in, in, on a beach or a, the desert. Erwan. Erwan. Do they sell genie lamps? Mm -hmm. Or oh, I'm at Erwan. Yeah. And How much do you think a wish would cost? Probably like a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for yeah. per wish, it'd be yeah. like a hundred grand at Erwan. <laughs> yeah, at Erwan. Yeah. Oh, if you got <laughs> but I'd literally, if you got one wish, literally. <laughs> That would be cost probably twenty five million. This is yeah. interesting. Does the genie, does the genie and its lamp and its wish uh, giveth, <laughs> does that come from where it's located, like where the lamp is found? Like you would find it in Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. Does he is he like a fancy looking genie that gives you like unlimited wishes? <laughs> but if you find one in like you know Torrance, is he like, dude, you get a half a wish? I got yeah, a, I got, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, go. I get mine at Ralph's. <laughs> you can, yeah. If you have a lamp that you find at Vaughn's, what's a half wish? Ha half wish, right? He, you may or, it, only some of it's going to come true. 
yeah. Oh. The genie is kind of lazy. My one wish. <laughs> my, my my one wish would be um. That's a tough one, huh? For bad friends to last forever. <laughs> for me and Andrew to la- live forever. For you and I to live forever? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Wow, dude. Can you imagine the apocalypse? Everyone's gone. Everything doesn't exist except for you and I. But then you have a wish and you can make that be- better. Do you you could double down on our wish. Wait, imagine though. I had the same wish and the genie's like, you fucking idiots. You both wished for the same thing. So we just live together. Oh, no. I'd be mad. i go, no pussy, dude. No, dude. I yeah, thought, so what, I no, thought my you wish, did that. That no, was my first if we ever, No, if we ever get a fucking wish, all right? Okay, let's I'm going to go me and Andrew live forever. Yeah. And your wish would be? That we live forever. No! Oh, I fucked it up no, again? No, 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 yeah. <laughs> that we get a wish. Like, our, 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 I get The it. love of our lives you, would live you, forever, too. You do a wish, I'll do one. Ready? Go. All right, all right. Genie. May I call you Genie? Yes, you may. You're just... Uh, oh, sorry, my yeah. eyes. Okay. I'm a lady genie. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. My bad. This genie looks a lot different than I thought genies would look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm magic, so I can transform. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, my one wish is for me and Andrew to live forever. Um, which Andrew? Santino. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I did the podcast with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Do I get yeah. a wish, genie? Um, okay, you guys live forever. What's your. Uh... <sighs> my wish. <laughs> Andrew, I, think about it. I got it. My wish is that me and my best friend Bobby Lee live forever. What? Okay, it's done. What? <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> We're doing it. No, dude. I take it back. Wait, so if Jeannie? you're the last ones on Earth, you guys are fucking right. Wish. No, dude, we're so old at that point. Wish granted. <laughs> no, because there's still going to be sex That wars. was my secret wish. You didn't know. You no, know, you know what I would go? I go, hey, let's get this motorcycle because we'd have motorcycles. Of course we have motorcycles. Right. And I go, how do we not? We got to go to San Marcos. You know what's at San Marcos? <laughs> what? You don't know what's at San no. Marcos? San Marcos, San Diego. Oh, yeah? The real doll factory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Think about it. Just two best friends going, going to the real doll factory. Sex doll, doll factory. factory. And we go in there and we can put the parts. But you know what will happen? What? We'll use them all. We'll never clean them. And then we'll run out. No, we live Then we got to go find another sex doll factory. This is a movie. Two best... <laughs> this is like our Harold and Kumar. They're trying to go to White Castle. We just are trying to go get sex toys. So we're traveling the country going from sex toy factory to sex toy factory. Yeah, yeah. We use them once, we yeah. throw them away, and then we got to go find a new one. Well, I'm sure there's about 500 of them. Well, then let's can, get started. And they're not one-use things. You can use probably one for a year. It's actually a good movie. Two best friends set yeah. out yeah. to go to, because of the apocalypse. Yeah. Instead of going to get like food or rations, yeah. they want to go to the ultimate sex toy factory to have sex with the most realistic doll that's just been imported from Japan. Yeah. Basically a human. Yeah. And it's a journey. That's our Harold and Kumar. That's funny. Going to the and we get there, what happens? They uh, become real in a weird way. They, they kill us. Yeah, they kill us. For sure. They're hunting us and killing us. They're the reasons why there is no more people in the world because they're aliens. Everyone's been getting killed by sex dolls, which are inhabited by aliens. Yeah. If we're the last people on Earth, what, what, okay, what, once we went to the sex place, the story, I get a bunch of real dolls. I know we're joking what, about this, but I do- Where would you go? I do think this is coming soon. Where would you want to go? The end of the world. Where would I go what? Like, if you and I are the only ones on Earth, and I'm like, we got to go to San Marcos, and you'd probably go, all right, let's go. I go for you, yeah. But then what? where would you want to go after that? Yeah. Where's my place to go to? Yeah. I'll go anywhere. I'd want you to drive across the country with me to Augusta National to go play probably the most coveted golf course in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how long? Do you... <laughs> go ahead. How long do you think gasoline would be like available? There's got to so be plenty so, of it. Much. so much of it. So For just much. two people. We'd never run out. Never run out. Yeah. but can... I don't know how to use generators, do you? Yeah, what do you mean? Please. But we need gasoline for a generator. No, but I know there's going to be gas around, but I don't know how any of it works. Like I got you, baby. That's why you- That's why Lighting? You, what, what do you mean? How did we light up a place? Electricity, he means. Yes. Well, <laughs> what I meant. Well, <laughs> the grid will be down, so we'll have to use candles at night. Or generators. You know, Jenny's with a big light that's heavy. We might as well just use candles. And loud. They're re- really loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And right. then here's what we'll do. Every house we stay in, when we're done, we'll just burn it to the ground. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and can I ask you this? Like, can we'll we, stay in LeBron can James's can we house. We do, can we have, like, a million dogs? We'll have, well, first of all, they'll be following us. We'll be the only ones finding food. Uh-huh. We'll naturally Dude, just acquire dogs. that's what would dogs. happen, right? Yeah. You well, would have, like, hundreds of dogs following you around. No cats, though. One. How they'll never stay with us. We're on the move. You don't know some of them. How are we going to carry these dogs? Are we going to put them in a, in a semi? We got to get a semi truck and no, no, no. back up with dogs. Here's what we do then. <laughs> and th- I'm being real. Okay. Not being real. So am I. I go. We have to find one place to stay. 
No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll right. stay there. We'll stay in the greatest place on earth. Where? Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the center of the universe. Oh. We'll go to Joe's house. Yeah. No, a different Joe. Joe Biden. Oh, the no. White House. Yes, you guys got it. At least one night. The White there. House, and we'll paint it. We'll paint it yellow. Yes. No. We're gonna go. We're gonna own the White. We're gonna live in the White House. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Wherever we go, right? We keep the dogs there. I'll stay there with them. Fine, and I'll go on a journey. And uh, you go, gotta go to San Marcos. Get me this sex doll. Oh my god! If you bring down, if you bring back, like you know, another the good kind. You know what's gonna end up happening? What? I do. Go ahead. You're you're going to try to make Andrew be your servant. Mm-hmm. And Andrew's just gonna go off on his own. Get you sex dolls. You're gonna find food because there's no Uber Eats, no steakhouses. Don't be silly. That's she's right. Oh yeah. Meat all. <laughs> But no. What food, are you providing? Then? Food is all going to go back. Number one, you guys are so dumb, dude. Number one, okay. Oh, okay. I can go to a Vons, right? Huh. Frozen food's out. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's no more frozen food. It's gone. Exactly, yeah. right? Vegetable, fresh, anything fresh is out. Correct. It's only right? cans but of But canned food. food, I know how to open those. Good, yeah. You act like you can't plant seeds right? yourself. I know how <laughs> there's pots, right? And I know how to pour beans in a pot. Correct. And start a fire because the lighters will be there. That's right. <laughs> right? Right, and there'll be wood. It's true. To, 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 to do a bonfire. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start a Michelin star restaurant by myself that no one shows up to every night, but I, but I prep like someone is gonna come. Oh, that's so sad. And I stand outside with a towel on my arm. <laughs> and I and, and, and as just as the wind, just a languid wind, I just go care for some Italian. Yeah. And I just stand by myself. Y yeah. Losing my mind, but I cook like feverishly whoa. every day. And I'll be the wine guy. You finally show up. Yeah, I finally like Lieutenant show up. Dan DeForest Gump. You finally show up. I have no legs. Up. I have no legs. Why did you lose your legs? Uh, the fire. Lee. I was making beans. <laughs> Lieutenant Lee let his legs on yeah, fire. I was making beans, and I found Andrew again. He never got the sex dolls, but here we have this restaurant now. And we're called. The movie's called Lieutenant Lee's Legs. Yeah. Because and then you replaced your legs with the sex doll legs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wait, if the if Bobby's bottom half was a sex doll. Uh huh. Yes, I would. Okay. Okay. Of course. <laughs> what are we even talking about at some point? Of course I would. Yeah. If your bottom half <laughs> fell off and we had to boom, put a sex doll on the bottom. How much money did <laughs> Lieutenant Dan give Forrest Gump for the shrimp company? What do you mean? Do how much did Forrest Gump get Lieutenant Dan? Didn't. Uh, didn't Lieutenant Dan make a lot of money off of the shrimp company? Yeah, but Forrest bought the boat from Bubba Bubba Gump's mom. I understand dad. that, and then like he gives money. How much money does he give Forrest? Well, they got about fifteen boats, right? Because all the boats were wiped out. Yeah, and they were the only ones left. Right, and they made millions of dollars. They had tens. And then of I million. remember Lieutenant Dan comes to the wedding or whatever, mm -hmm. right? And I know that Forrest makes money from Lieutenant Dan, but I was wondering if Lieutenant Dan. Fucked him over a little bit. It felt like he did a little bit. Those legs were made out of the same thing that the NASA space shuttle was made out of. So I didn't trust him when he said that. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah. When I look at movies like that, I don't like it. Taylor Tomlinson to host CBS after midnight. She's taken over for fucking James Corden. Really? Wow, that's huge news. Comedian has scored the late night CBS gig. She beat out X Mayo and Ricky Velez for the hosting job. The news would announce on the late show with Stephen Colbert, whose host will executive produce the show. Tomlinson, rising stand up, has released her Netflix special, it's Quarter Life Crisis. And look at you. Congratulations to Taylor Tomlinson. Taylor, oh my God, she's our homie like who's so going to be now hosting. I, just, the... I literally, huge. when you told me that, it that's gave huge. me goosebumps at the size of coconut balls. Amazing. I mean, that's it, amazing. Yeah, Honestly, it, good it, for Taylor. Congratulations, Taylor Tomlinson. It's, Absolutely oh. amazing. It's whole, like comedy history. Yeah, it, I mean, it's honestly, cute. that's the first female comedian to host a late night show. It's also she's a part. She's young. She's young and what is yeah. she? Twenty seven? Got to be twenty five, twenty six. But you know what's so funny is that this is she's walking in the footsteps of some of the greats before. Because I will say, Joan Rivers would do guest hosting for Johnny yeah. Carson. She had her own show too. But I'm saying, Joan Rivers always wanted and probably deserved to get a late night show. She did on Fox. The main ones we're talking. She had about. a main Fox one. That's why Johnny Carson was mad at. You're her. not listening. I'm saying like the main shows, the late late show, the late late show, the Tonight Show. Like oh, the, so what Arsenio did, did wasn't a real thing. It was, dude. It's but, like different category, though. Yeah, you're you're missing what I'm saying. The main network television late night shows are the ones that. So Fox and Nate is not late. It's not main. I don't know what you just said. To be honest, <laughs> what I was trying to say was it's impressive to be a female to lead a late night show that is one of the original network late night you're right, shows. You're right, you're right. That's huge. It's huge. It's a big fucking deal. Because Joan Rivers and all these other people that had shows, they weren't the main shows. They weren't the late night or the tonight show. The late and I night. love they went, you know, we're going to go young, young. 
Well, she's a voice of a massive generation. Look yeah. at her audience. She sells out fucking arenas. There's a reason yeah. she's so famous. There's a reason Nate Bargatze just I, did fucking SNL. Yeah, but I, I hope they don't. It's, you know... Cause you, when you when you watch you know Fallon or any of these guys do their monologues and stuff, it's just it's just it just becomes so watered down and cookie cutter. You know what I mean? There's no more edge to it, and I just wish that that she doesn't lose the magic. That's all. I, she's not really an edgy comedian. She's a very like she's very speaks from her own voice and her own perspective. It's yeah, pretty... but they're gonna write her topical stuff, and I just just you know I just hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. She I think she'll do. Lose a her fucking, edge, I think all. she'll do a phenomenal. She doesn't have an edge. She's not an edgy comic. She's a very well, like. I think she's cool though. You know? She is, but she's a wholesome like yeah. a. The reason they booked her on that, yeah, is because she's receivable to a, to a to an American audience. Yeah, she doesn't go out of her way to talk about poop and jerking off like this show. I'm sorry. Newsflash: We're definitely not getting on late night anytime <laughs> soon. Never. She's much more clean and concise and intelligent. Her comedy is very. Uh, it's good. <laughs> and this is bullshit. It's not bullshit. This is goofball, wackadoo nonsense. The queef. We're about to show. <laughs> <laughs> so we did Denver and um, what we've been doing, guys, is we're doing talent shows. And because we know our fans have m massive talent. We've had some pretty impressive. We had a lady that did a uh, hawk. Not a hawk. No, she seagull. did a, a seagull. A seagull. We had a bunch of rappers. We had a rapper in DC who was actually really good. We had a rapper the in Denver. Denver was good too. We've had a lot of hidden talent fans. I think the most impressive <laughs> talent was what? Let's say it on three. One, two, three. Queef. Oh. Wait, what were you going to say? <laughs> I, I, I was going to say. So we're, we're doing that. She wasn't on the lineup, right? <laughs> and we asked the audience. We have a lot of talented, you know what I mean? People that signed up for the talent show. And some random lady in the audience goes, I can queef on command. And Which we immediately, always get your attention. Yeah, get yeah. on stage. Yeah, yeah. you got to get on stage. Yeah, so that's, to me, I went, stop, hold. And there was 3,500 people there. Yeah. Not only could she queef on command when she came on stage, which, by the way, you know, they gave us that microphone she used. We yeah. have it here. It's encased in the front room. Why, they didn't want to use it again? It's 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 melted. The top is just... <laughs> oh, I see. But this woman could queef on beat. She she made a yeah. beat. It's she incredible. could queef with a beat. It was incredible. It was like a golden buzzer moment, like an AGT, like everybody... Bah, bah, yeah. bah. Oh, my God. We're sending her to the finals. Do you remember when Mozart... Salieri. Mm. Yeah, Salieri. I remember. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. What? Salieri. Sal Salieri. You're such an asshole, dude. <laughs> fucking asshole, You're such dude. a fucking pretentious dickhead. <laughs> you, know who, you know who you are, dude? You're the kind of guy that likes $35 water. You're a fucking dickhead. Yeah, Salieri. 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 Salieri was, wrote a, a, a piece for the king, mm -hmm. right? And the king is practicing because he wants to show off in front of Mozart. <laughs> right. Right? And Mozart comes in and goes, well, I think this will be better. And he made it better. <laughs> That's what this lady was like. You imagine Mozart yeah. comes in the room when somebody's composing something and he's just like eating something and he just goes gay to whatever somebody's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, um, she came in and goes, hold, hold my drink. Hold my drink. Yeah. And watch what I can do. But you know what the weirdest? You can hear it go. <laughs> It was, it, was so it was incredible. Breathing. Uh, we can't. We can't show the video on the main page here, of course. But we'll we have a we have a Patreon. We're gonna show it. Go there. watch it on the Patreon if you want. It's on there. We can't show it on the She's main. She's the YouTube Rock Mononoff of Queefs. The Rock Mononoff of Queefs. Go check it out on the Patreon because uh, if we show it on here, YouTube will get mad at us again. Again. Uh, and I want to say this. I really, really, really love you. Who me? Juice. Oh me. <laughs> <laughs> and to the fans out there that have been asking. We are an inch away from closing down a deal so we can go to Australia to perform for our fans. Oh, yeah. Sydney, Perth, Adelaide, Brisbane, Auckland. We're all over the place, down under. We're working on it right now. But in the meantime, uh, go see us out uh, in 2024. Get the tickets because we're going to be in like Atlantic City. We're going to be in Tucson. We're going to be wait. in Reno, Temecula, Get it now. Sacramento. Uh, so go check us out uh, at badfriendspod.com for those tickets. And thank you for being a bad friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. You know how I knew, by the way, what time you left in Denver uh, when I walked past the hotel room? How would I know that you what you did that morning or that late that night? What do you mean? There was oh. a cart in the hallway with all the food on it that you ordered. <laughs> yeah. And I literally go, God, I knew Bobby ate last night. We just ate dinner and I go, I bet he ate again. I lifted up the napkin and, Nothing she, and she starts cracking up. Spaghetti, steak, soup, yeah, yeah. salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just ate yeah. and he had so much stuff. So here's the deal. Uh, we want to- can, can, can you never do that again?
What? That's my food. <laughs> I didn't touch it. You no, know, it's intrusive. It don't. You were done I with covered it. it. You were done. Did I not cover my food? That's to say I'm done. Doesn't matter. It's mine. Don't look at it. I'm going to look at it every time. I'm going to do whatever I want. <laughs> I'll look at your fucking food all I want, especially if you're done. You're done. It's for the garbage. You're throwing oh, it away. Can I, can, so oh, yeah. Can I, can I tell you another thing then? Yeah, go ahead. Since we're here at let's this go. level. Yeah, let's go then. I wasn't really going to fart on your wife. <laughs> yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. And you acted so fucking weird you about it. You farted on everyone in the green room. You also did fart right next to her because you thought it was funny. And I said, don't fucking fart on her. But it, why are you so fucking weird about it? Because it's crazy disrespectful. She did not want that to happen. Yeah, she was not into it. That's not okay. She doesn't like that. Okay, but don't get that angry about it. Nobody is. Nobody is. Shut up. I'm going to fart on your wife next time I see her. Can you imagine? He would be so fucking fuck. mad. I don't give a fuck. Now dude. that they have a baby, he'll kill you. That's yeah, instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. You can do whatever you want to me. Okay. Not. Well, then how about this? That's out of bounds. You don't look at my food. I don't fart on your wife. I'm going to look at your food all I'm going to find your wife. And I'll beat the shit out of you. And I'll beat the shit out of me. Yeah, you will. <laughs> okay, I'll beat the shit out of myself. God, you get so mad about stupid things, man. To do something so stupid. To There's other some... things you get mad about. I don't even want to You're 52, and to fart on somebody's wife is insane. Backstage, it's fun. It doesn't matter what stage it's on. Front stage, backstage. <laughs> okay, anyway. Idiot. Fucking moron. You dude, dude, fucking dude, idiot. Dude, take a chill pill, as they 52 say. 52-year-old that farts on people. There's 52. other things, though, too, that you just get mad about. Fart on people. Yeah. Nobody wants to be farted on, ever. Can I tell you another thing that you get mad? No, I don't want to bring it up. Look at your face. Uh, uh, nobody wants to be farted on. Period. <laughs> I know, but it was a joke. I wasn't really going to do it. I hadn't, I, I, asked you my did. Butt. You just asked farted my right. Butt. You, ask my butt. To give, put it on the mic. <laughs> yeah.